it was the boys in there. Brought them in a Cessna to about a half hour flight with the cub from our hunting area, from our hunting strip. He's gonna fly back and get me with the cub and bring me to the strip, the honey strip. And hopefully we can keep the weather, enough window here with the weather to get all three of them, at least one of them in there so I don't spend the night alone. But yeah, I got about two and a half hours sitting here by his hair strip waiting. Here we go. kind of cold, real cold wind right now, so we set up this little lean-to with some sticks and stuff, and just gonna glass and keep eye, and hopefully this migration is starting and the herds will start coming through and we can cut them off because they're feeding pretty fast to catch up to us. Got a herd right here. Back one looks like a shooter. All the on deck. We're gonna make a stock. Got them right from camp here. Bengal. The arrow hit the scapula and didn't get much penetration. He watched the bull climb up the mountain and bed up just before the top. Olafi decides to climb up and around, get above him to get one more arrow at him. As we wait for Olafi to climb the mountain, we glass these two bulls behind us. Jeff and Brown head out and the stock is on. Oh, I got the boys in the shot there. The bull is just on the left of the screen.
just as I finished watching Jeff and Brown put the perfect stock, I flip back to Alpai and see him just 40 yards up the hill from the caribou waiting for him to stand. Not the ultimate stock or what? We were even proud of our own stock. <laughs> yeah, Brown. <laughs> what? Two arrows. Two arrows. Wow, first, first one. The, heart. the first one. Was right here, so. He went. He went maybe like 15 yards. Laid down. He's done. He got up on him. He stood up. I soaked him on the other side. Too. Yep, we got all that on action. Good work, boys. Good yeah. stock. Good stock. What you hunting? Sheep? Sheep country. Bruh. Alaska deep country. Alright, so we've been out here. This is day four. We've had a hard time. We expect the caribou to be rolling through camp, you know, with the migration, but we haven't seen much by camp. Today we had one nice bull at camp. Uh, we were sitting there glassing around. We spotted this bull up on this rise. Cody and I made a stock on him. I hit him at 75 yards. Hit the scapula though and stopped the arrow. So he was wounded, I got one lung. We watched him come up this rise in bed. So I dropped in, I snuck around, and I hit him at 40 yards, and he went about 10 yards after that. Big bull down in Alaska. All right. In the polis. <laughs> Dinner. All right. <laughs> Finish cleaning it all up. Ready to load these meat bags and get out of here. Got a lot of grizzly crap coming up this drainage, so ready to get out of here back down by camp, hang the meat up. Day six of nine. There's, we've got dropped off in this basin. Beautiful country, but zero migration in here. We had in the last six days three small herds, eight eight caribou come through camp. One bull out of all those, almost shot that one. But we no longer can hope for a migration. We just got to keep getting after it. The two bulls we've killed have been up in these mountains, just pushing mountains, but. It's such big country, we glass, glass caribou from camp, but we can never can tell if they're shooters. Last night we went way up in this bowl and there's a lot of caribou in there. We ended up getting on a caribou that just wasn't quite what we were looking for after a long haul, but Jeff and I still got tags. It's a drizzly day, we figured we just sit around camp and pray for a migration to start or we just keep pounding these crevices and canyons and we see a herd back in here and there's about 25 caribou in here last night. so. Now we're just gonna slide in and see if we can find a shooter. It's gonna be a long haul back out, but nice big bull spot in this herd. We came way back in this basin. We were just about to get a little bomb that we came all the way back here, nothing to shoot. But it's big country out here. Did you come out?
the bull jumped the string just slightly and the shot was a little high. We ended up tracking and sticking with this herd all day and the bull kept feeding along with the herd looking fine. Boom, he's, he's leaned in, he's herding, he's herding. Did I hit him? I think you hit him, huh? Oh, yeah. Terrible heart, terrible heart, time again. Yeah, Another yeah. beautiful wet day in Alaska with no caribou migration. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But this is how we do. Oh, yeah. Too close to camp here. Hey, hey, hey there. one more big grizz way out there. That is number five, four on a day. Bulls behind camp, early morning. We got some old fashioned, we got some Angostura bitters with some sugar, some whiskey, All right. a little water, so you know, icy water, <laughs> and a zest of, of orange. Yeah. Got a warm, clear day in a long time. First time we got to dry some shit out, it's like wood's not lighting too well. <laughs> Rub a stick water. <laughs> Nine days, grueling hunt out here in this basin, caribou hunting. We had zero migration, no migration. We had one herd of the bull pass our camp in nine days, but we shot two bulls. Hit Jeff hit one, just hit it high, kind of jump string. I missed a really big one at 70 yards, but all in all, we got it done. Uh, very tough hunt. Everyone's feet are sore. It's pretty rainy. Just out here waiting for my ride. Boys got picked up. Super Cub should be in any minute now, but. Yeah, we're all stoked to get out of here, get a hot shower, cleaned up, but it's a good fun experience. So 11 grizzlies through the course of nine days, some moose, wolves, lots of rain, and yeah, Alaska, that's what we came for. You got him, Jeff! <laughs> Thanks, so uh, I, I feel safer now, somehow. <laughs>